Well hi there again guys and girls. Previously on my channel we had my Idiot's Guide to 2.4 because I've only recently switched to it and then I followed that with Don't Lose That Model Part 1. This is going to be Don't Lose That Model Part 2. Now one of the big advantages I've discovered of 2.4 is that I can now set fail safes which means if the model loses signal I can make it shut down the motor, bank a bit, turn, do whatever I want. So how do you do it? First off select the model which in this case is my little glider conversion which is actually a wish glider this was seven pounds or eight pounds or something and then a few quid to put a motor on it so first off select the right model whiz through that now so there it is wish o2 and then i'm going to put a battery in this now what i would say is it is recommended you take the prop off in case you have a mishap here like you've got a reversed channel on the throttle channel but I'm leaving the prop on but don't try this at home with the prop on so battery in throttle down switches up I'll keep my hands away from the prop anyway that's for sure plug in right so here we go I'm in wish which is my number two model so what we've got to do on this particular transmitter you press and hold OK that gets you into a couple of menus here system or setup Oh, that's my model saver. Uh, I'm going to have to disconnect that, otherwise it's going to annoy us. But you can see how effective that is. I'm going to disconnect that because we can't have that beeping all the way through. But don't forget to check out, don't lose that model, about model finders. Right, so let's start again. Now I've disconnected the model finder because that beeping would surely drive us nuts while I'm trying to talk about this. OK, well, this is the Flysky FSI 6. As I said, it's got potential for fail safe which I've never had the luxury of before so how do you work it first thing to do is on this particular one press and hold OK you've got two setup menus here you've got system setup and model setup you want system well I've already selected the model so we scroll down now to receiver setup missed it there it is OK scroll down again to fail safe first thing to do is go to channel 3 which is throttle OK one of the up down buttons will change it to on long press cancel long press cancel again long press cancel again it's a real pain in the butt and then it goes into memory that it's turned on next thing to do is check that it's actually worked because I kept forgetting to long press cancel to set it so we go into system again receiver setup it's a bit long-winded this and I kept getting it wrong fail safe okay channel 3 is already on minus 100% okay so press cancel 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 let's test that plug in the battery I recommend you do this without the prop on let's see what happens now let's hope this works it's worked when I've done it on several other models. Props turning. Keep your hands away from that, Bob. Turn off the transmitter. And it stopped. Did you see that? No, it was slightly out of shot. But anyway, you heard it. So throttle closed again. Switches are all up. Turn on the, turn on the power again. Next thing I'm going to do is set up the ailerons so that if it does do a power out, instead of just gliding away into the distance it's going to circle and slowly come down providing it's a model with a nice glide now all the other videos i've seen on this subject have been about drones and all they do is say set it so that the motor stop and then it will just fall out of the sky but with a proper flying plane aircraft you really want it to circle and just come down slowly at least it's not going to fly away from you so let's go back into that menu down to receiver setup down to fail safe and this time we want channel 1 which is ailerons press that turn it on cancel 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 come out of it go back into it yeah oh sorry yeah come back into that down to receiver setup down to fail safe it's still showing minus minus one hundred percent. In other words, close down on throttle channel three. 
channel 1, press OK. Now I'm going to put a little bit of deflection in. This is why you need the battery in. I don't know whether you can see that. But if I can zoom in on this, I'm going to put a, a little bit of deflection in so that it will just slowly circle down. Bit of deflection. Then I'm going to press and hold cancel. And it says 17% on that one. So I'm going to go down, 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 down. Press cancel again. Long press of cancel again where you have to. Press cancel. Let's just see if that's worked. Cancel, cancel. If you forget to do a long press, it doesn't it doesn't actually put it in memory. Let's see, receiver setup. Let's see if this has worked. I keep having problems with this. Fail safe. Okay. Yes, I've got it. 17% and minus 100%. So now in the event of a shutdown, let's see what happens. Cancel, cancel, cancel. I'm going to start the, start the motor. You'll hear it. And what you're looking for here is a deflection when I turn off the transmitter. And now I can't show you both at the same time. I'm going to turn the transmitter off. You heard the engine stop and indeed look the aileron has given a little twitch there so that it's actually now going to circle slowly to the left and glide down hopefully. Now if you want to you could go into channel 2 and add a bit of down on the elevator but this actually glides nicely and so it should do the job. So that's it for now. Coming up soon will be the maidens of the nose job Versa and the red stripe foam build. But also don't forget to check out part 1 of Don't Lose That Model about model finders and my very detailed build video for the little glider. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this rubbish. But happy flying and hopefully I'll catch you again soon.